How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day and I really want to tell you guys how awesome the Juggernaut is and why you should use a Juggernaut if you don't have access to the better alternatives. And the better the better alternatives to Juggernaut would be Ozma or Ravnus or people that have the access to Knight Commander because uh, then you really don't need this bad boy. Well I mean you could still use him but he fills in the role for the Knight Commander pretty well. It's like kind of a little like weaker version of the Knight Commander with lacking other really good things. But it has one skill that, that makes the Knight Commander really strong. And one skill that I really didn't cover much when I talked about this class earlier. And that is Intimidate. Now, when you read it, it says removes the skill condition from enemy units within two tiles. Chance of success increases with rank. So obviously a higher rank Intimidate has a higher success, success chance. Now, to the, to the normal player... To the average Joe, to people that don't try to read between the lines or aren't veterans to the PSP game, when you think of a skill condition, what do you think of? Well, you know, maybe a buff, maybe something a skill does. I don't know what the hell is a skill condition. Well, when you look into it and actually see the skill in action, this will remove any skill that an enemy unit has readied. So any ready skill. So it can be phalanx. It can be Eagle Eye, it can be Berserk, it can be what any skill that a unit equips down here that's an auto skill, that's a ready skill to be applied on the next turn or during the enemy's turn or whenever. It can remove preempt, it can remove whatever, whatever within two tiles. Now, you would think like, eh, you know, it's whatever, I guess, it sounds alright. Well, when it works, it's super, super strong, especially if this guy's a frontline unit. You know how everybody talks about Knights and Phalanx, or Rampart Aura? Well, I guess Rampart Aura is not a ready skill, my bad, just forget that. Anyway, Phalanx, or other skills that are super annoying, the fact that this can remove Phalanx from a Knight can make them way easier to kill. The fact that you can remove any ready skill that's annoying, like a Terror Knight's ready skill, or Dragon Scale from Dragons. I mean, I could go on and on and name, try to name every single ready skill in the game, but... People undervalue this. I even undervalued it at first. It is it is insanely good, and it's one of the things that makes Knight Commander a really great class and why Ozma is so darn OP. So this is what I like to call the budget Knight Commander, the Juggernaut. And they also, like I said in my previous video, have access to removing to stop enemy units, which is basically amazing. And this is within one tile, and this is within one tile. So basically, when you set it up like this, Anything that gets near your Juggernaut has to go through three auto skills that have a chance, obviously. But that's insane. That that's just that that's insane to me that they have three checks to go through in order to avoid three potential things. And I mean, intimidate isn't that big of a deal if the enemy unit doesn't have access to ready skills or isn't using any, you know. So I mean, it kind of depends what you're dealing with. But these two are always gonna proc and maybe work. You know, and they both have really, they're both really good, especially reducing their MP by 25% with Threaten. Threaten's also a great skill, even if you're not targeting, like, casters. The fact that you can take away 25% of the MP of a unit, that can deny them their finisher, you know? So, I really, I really undersold that in my video talking about this class prior. I didn't give it enough credit to, uh, I need to get a better sword on him. I never gave it enough credit in the initial video where I was talking about this, but this definitely makes them worth using. If you've never used a Juggernaut, I highly recommend giving them a try. For those of you that are crazy and do only human runs or whatever, I guess you're just going to miss out. Sucks to suck, I guess. I don't know. But uh, this is great for me, for people like me that don't have access to Knight Commander. And as you can see, the birds are just cheering. They love the Juggernaut. They uh, they can't get enough. They're just like, we love lizards, and they're birds, though. So I don't know why they prefer, like, lizards and orcs when they're birds. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes. You know, they get they get pretty they get pretty excited in the morning when they are uh, woken up. And I can't find my bird deterrent. I don't know where it went. I lost my, my bird deterrent. Oh, hold on. I found it. Ah, this ought, to, this ought to quiet the birds down a little bit. There we go. See? Now look at that. Got the bird to turn out. Anyway, that's that's it. I mean, I, I I think it's great. I think I think intimidate is phenomenal. I think it's up. Oh, I I didn't even realize the power of it. To be honest with you, I didn't even realize the power of it. I was uh, I was a little unaware 
of its potential. I mean, these two I realized were really awesome, but I didn't realize how awesome Intimidate was. And like I said, I briefly touched on it in the video where I talked about the Juggernaut. And I wish I would have went more into it because it is that good. And that's why this video is strictly dedicated to Intimidate and its power. And I mean, you could do like Siege and stuff, but like, man, I, I feel like this is good. I feel like this is a good setup. I'm sure other people have other setups, but man. And for those of you that have Knight Commanders, you don't even need a Juggernaut. Eh, you can use something else. I mean, or you could use Juggernauts too and really like amplify your front line. But this is probably one of the best front line units in the game with the ability to strip away certain conditions or readied skills from enemy units that otherwise would be annoying to deal with or give that enemy unit a huge advantage. But as always, what do you guys think? What do you think with the Juggernaut? Do you think Intimidate? is really that strong would you agree with me in saying the juggernaut is a good cheaper alternative till you can get the knight commander get ozma get ravnus do they do they kind of fill the role a little bit are they like a little mini knight commander you let me know i feel like they are a good alternative i feel like if you could get one of these boys in chapter two in farampa wildwood or something it could really help you throughout the game fortunately i was a fool and i neglected recruiting a lot of stuff early on so, I mean, this bad boy will be great when I do, like, you know, chaos run, neutral run, whenever those will be, you know, get them early, get them good, you know. I mean, I'll have them, but. <laughs> but in the end, I think I love it. I love Intimidate. I think it's one of the best skills, and I think it has a lot of potential, a lot of power, and can really shut down and turn off a lot of the unit's big abilities, big, powerful, ready skills. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please, please uh, let me know down below what you think. Like this video if it was uh, nice to you. Dislike it if it was something you didn't like. You know, I love the feedback. I love talking to you guys. I try to read and reply to every comment. So please feel free to comment down below your thoughts or opinions on things related to this video. Or things you would like to see me cover on the channel even. Because, you know, as I said before, Tactics Ogre content, it's great. I love the game. But since the game's been out for a while, viewership... Uh, the ratings, the numbers are down. I need to kind of branch out a little bit. And we're kind of in a lull. I do have other games I plan to cover. They're just not out yet. So any feedback or advice, hey, feel free to toss it to me. I appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next one. Later, guys. Peace.